Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. What's good, everybody? It's Kajo Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? As you can see, we got some new content today. We got new stuff. A new game. But I ain't gonna hold y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see, we did start. Um, I actually already recorded the first half hour of this, um, so none of that was new to me. Um, but I was not happy with quality and this game is beautiful and so I really want you guys to feel that immersion with me feel like you're a part of this world so we're gonna go ahead and start over do a recording real quick probably half hour long same as uh, the first time make sure everything's good and then we're just gonna drop content of this game uh, we're just gonna drop it we are gonna be playing on hard difficulty and let's get into it. It's a lot of story, this first episode, so be ready. Get your popcorn. Twenty thirty six. Fifteen years. It already looks so much better on y'all end. I'm excited for you guys. You still got 
get it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <clears throat> and you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. All right, now that we fixed the graphics, let's just take a second, y'all, to appreciate. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Not only this game, but all the other games are going to look so much better. Um, I had to go through some settings that, uh, I believe it was a frame rate issue or a bit rate issue. So, I did go ahead and fix that. Um, I will look on the playback to make sure everything looks okay. Um, but as of right now, it looks great. So, hopefully everything is fixed for you guys. Ready for the new game. Shit, man. You're still strong. Thanks, Spike. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come. I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know. But I'm fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Nobody there had heard of her. So she must have gone to Gary. In that case, I'll head north. Now first head east, then think about going north. Why? Well, haven't you heard? Bridge over the Scraw is gone, swept away by that flood this spring. You gotta cross the old fjord. Shit. Didn't know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. All right. Cue to use the census. Still don't understand how he just grabs that, but whatever. We'll just ignore it. Grab yeah, that. Do. do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Alright, let's get into the crafting a little bit. This is just going to explain that we need to collect blueprints in order to craft items. Over to the right here is going to be all of our crafting supplies. And then, you just craft it. Inventory, um, here's the journal, so just our quest. If you guys want to go ahead and pause it, I'm not going to read through all this stuff. However, collectibles and things, I am going to be, uh, most likely looking over those, so. But, the quest line, you get a good idea of what it's about. Come on. Through the dialogue. There. Here and there, we might read through it, but... Only complaint so far that I have is Spike's movement is a little glitchy. Um, but other than that, the game's been great so far. This is it. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn. 
Damn it. Locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. All right. Around the back we go. Empty. Uh, nothing in here. Uh, nothing here. Five years later. So this is one of those collectibles I was talking about. So let's go ahead and look at that real quick. So, five years later, who remembers Haran? Which Haran was, takes place in the first game, if you guys are not familiar with that. That's uh like the whole storyline of the first game. Is there any hope left for the thousands of people trapped in Haran? Five years have passed since the city of Haran was isolated from the rest of the world. Residents who thought they'd found refuge from the virus now found themselves in a death trap fending for themselves and denied aid from the outside. Why did the world turn its back on Haran? Once a thrive can a once thriving city and its thousands of residents simply be erased from history? Cool cool. Party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. So we're in 2036. 15 years after the fall so this would have been what two years what so much better hey everything all right yeah just rats I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. See you, bud. Which I don't understand, because as you can see, he doesn't leave. So, I don't really know what that's all about. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. And that's what they called art? It's an abstract painting. Abstract art. So if you look at the inventory, we got crafting parts. We got the skill tree. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I'll look more into that later. do have a hide area which i'd assume we can hide under the pianos Not a from these zombies let's go ahead and head outside
That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky, too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. Party at the end. At least they were together though, right? They did go out on their own terms. I will say, much better to go out like this than eaten by a zombie. So, can't say you really blame them too much. She was classy. Was that? Meta. Meta hypnosis? Okay. At least they had each other. They had flyers and everything. That's pretty fancy for the end of the world. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. All right. Let's go see what Spike wants. I like how they just took off the handles. Make it known that you can't go through that door. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I'm assuming Crane is his. I tracked down kid. that guy for you. Hey, what? What? What guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you guessed right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. The city. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. 
<laughs> Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. All right. And that's that. Into the game. It's the introduction. Got to go to the antenna. Find out what's going on more with the main story. Uh, as of right now, all we know is we're looking for a guy named Maltz. Um, and we don't seem to like him too much. He's not family. And uh, we got to talk to somebody who has some information. However, there's not like a save point in this game. Um, so I can't just stop the game and save it whenever I want to. It does have a checkpoint mark. Um, and seeing that I don't know when the next checkpoint is, this is as far as I got in the first episode. So I am going to end the episode here. It is a little early. Um, but like I said, I'm going to push out as much content as possible. I just wanted to make sure that everything is set before we begin this journey. Because I'm very excited to delve into this game. Um, and hopefully you guys are excited to experience it with me. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a thumbs down if you did not enjoy the content. Any kind of support means the world to me. Until next time, peace out, y'all.